Hey everybody, this is Mike from Halftone Digital and today we're going to be looking at getting 3D models into a Webflow page. Uh, the library that we're using for this is called modelviewer.dev and I will go through how to hook this up. But this is a Google project just so you know we're not using 3JS or anything that's overly complicated. Um, we're just using an external library. An important note to know is that um, these are GLB slash GLTF 3D files. Those are the only types of files that Blender will recognize. It's the only types of files that actually this model viewer library will recognize, which is the reason that it's all that we can use. You can convert OBJs to this file type. You can save GLBs or GLTFs via Blender. You can find a converter web page. But um, in order to get started, you do need to have a GLB or GLTF file, either or GLB or GLTF. They're, they're two file types. Um, if you want, you can use ours down below. This project is also clonable. So if you want to just clone this project and build on it from here, you can do that too. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is upload our file. Um, there's a little bit of a trick to this, uh, but this is what you got to do. If I hit upload right now and I go to my 3D file, it's on my desktop, you see Webflow doesn't like a .glb file, so we need to hack this a little bit. And there's not a whole lot to it other than we're going to rename it and we're going to add .txt to the end. This is going to tell Webflow that we're allowed to open this. Um, i got to go back and hit the upload button again, and there it is. It's .txt, which can be opened. And this is about 3 megs. It's not too big. Um, I would try to keep your files below 10. Next thing that we're going to do is we are going to build out this page a little bit. So we're going to go in here and add a container. I want my container to be the full height of the browser. So I'm going to put 100 VH in for the height. I'm going to change this to a Flexbox container because I like Flexbox and it makes it easy to control my elements inside. I'm going to add a div. We're going to go back to the container and say, I want everything to be horizontally aligned and vertically aligned. So now my div is right in the middle. And inside my div, we're going to add a custom or an embed, a custom code block. So we'll just save this for now. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is jump back over to modelviewer.dev to get the code that we need. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to grab is this one down here, which is model viewer to model viewer. Copy that, go back into Webflow. And in our embed element, I'm just going to paste this in here, hit save and close. Um, there's one more really important step that you absolutely have to do before this will work, which is uh, page level scripting. So we're going to click on the home page, which is where we're at here. We're going to go scroll down to the bottom to the dot to the before slash body tag. Go back to model dev, and now I'm going to grab these two scripts. Okay, so we're going to copy that, jump back into Webflow, and paste that. So that's everything except for actually getting it to load in our model. So the next thing that we need to do is go back to our assets, click this little gear box, and I want the link directly to this file. And I can, it still says TXT, that's totally fine. We're just gonna click on this little copy asset link to clipboard. Now we're gonna go back into the HTML element. And instead of loading up that astronaut from the model.dev, page, which is this guy here, we're going to load in our own file. So I'm going to delete this for the source for this 3D file. I'm going to paste in, and you can see it's ssl.webflow. That means that this is our glb.txt file. Hit save and close. And again, nothing. You got to publish this before you can actually see the model itself. So we'll hit publish, give it a second, and then click this little arrow to open it up in its own page. And there it is. So this isn't looking exactly how we want it to look yet. It gives a nice little pop-up that shows you that you can rotate things. Um, the next video I'm going to go into here is talking about how to add attributes, how to make it bigger, how to resize it, how to add all sorts of cool stuff like a shadow. Um, under Model Viewer, all of these attributes are things that you can add to your model. Like you can control the camera orbit, you can give it a skybox image so that you get some crazy looking like reflections going off your model and background 360 images that reflect off the model, assuming the model is reflective. Um, so we'll be going, getting into all that and then automatically, or excuse me, adjusting some positioning and whatnot with CSS to get the model to look good. Um, but that's the gist of it. 
Uh, again, click below, there is the ability to clone the project as well as there's a copy of our logo file if you just want GLB to experiment with. Thanks.